Hello, people of the world. What are you doing today? What's your dog doing today? What am I even doing today? I don't know, but whatever you're doing, I want you to know that I appreciate you watching this week's episode of Coffee Chat with Jax. So it wasn't too long ago, well actually it was like two days ago, when I was riding shotgun with my friend in rush hour traffic to a meeting. Now if I'm being honest with you guys, it was quite the chaotic ride because we were happened to be running very, very late. And if any of you out there are familiar with this little thing called LA traffic, I'm sure you can feel my pain. Side note, I brought a jar of peanut butter with me in case something like this went down and I got that peanut butter all up on my new black pants, just in case you were wondering. But you see, the weird thing is, I wasn't stressed out. You know who was? My friend who was driving. I was totally relaxed and it took me a minute to figure out why that was because we were both about to be late, not just him. The only difference between the two of us was that he was in control and I was not. The second I realized that all I was capable of doing during this madness was to sit back and pick the next John Mayer song to play and try my best to avoid looking like a peanut butter sandwich just took a poop on my lap. I knew that it was out of my control and all I could do was surrender to my friends driving through this traffic that we were so blessed to be in. You guys, how many times do we mistake ourselves from being in the driver's seat of our own life? Let me put it this way. How many times in your life have you stressed out over how much money is in your bank account? Or are you ever going to meet that significant other? Or are you ever going to get that big break in show business that you have dreamt of since you were a little kid? Well, guess what guys? It's not up to us. It is not the slightest bit in our control. And I know that that's that sounds scary to some people, but it's the truth. And it really shouldn't scare you because all it means is that the pressure is off. That's good news. God takes all the pressure off of us and puts it on himself because he loves us and he knows what's best for us. God created you. He has the very hairs on your head numbered. So don't you think he knows you well enough to know what's best for you? The pressure is just not on you. Like if we get the job, awesome. We didn't do it, God did. If we get to the meeting in time, that's great. Thank you, God, for getting us there. The truth of the matter is we are not in the driver's seat. And I wouldn't even want to put myself in shotgun because I don't think I can handle that. I'm taking the back seat. Maybe God's up there with Moses sitting shotgun, DJing, spilling peanut butter all over his pants. That'd be pretty cool. If God's in charge of my life, then that is the greatest news that I have ever heard because I do not want to be in charge. That's when things would get scary because you know what? As much as I think I do, I have no idea what I'm doing. If I was in charge, then dang, the pressure is seriously on now. Time to perform, time to step it up because if I fail, it's all my fault. It really just goes back to us not being able to do it on our own. Once we can truly and purely put our faith in the fact that God works all things according to his plan, it is then that we can rest in the peace that everything is going to be okay. And in fact, his ways are higher than my ways. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything that you could ever imagine. <gasps> Okay guys, well thank you so much for hanging out and having coffee with me today on Coffee Chat with Jax. If you like what I'm doing here, please check out the Patreon page that I just created to find out how to support and get more involved. Also, because I just want to get to know you and your stories and that's a great way to do it. So the link to that page is in the description box below or you can just click on this video link right here for more information. Just this box right here. Wherever you are, whoever you are, I hope you know how much you're loved. Okay guys, have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!